Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you what I eat in a day on one of my days off from training and volleyball. I had so much fun filming this video and I really hope you enjoy it. Let's get right into it. I always start my morning the exact same way and that is with hydration. First thing in the morning, I fill up my one liter mason jar with warm water and then I add the juice of about half a lemon. Not only am I hydrating my body, but lemon water helps to flush away toxins and it's also very helpful in digestion. Lemon is full of vitamin C as well, so it'll give you a little immune system boost. Lately, I've been incorporating uh, a green superfood powder into my morning routine. I like to call it my green shop. Honestly, it tastes absolutely horrible, but I wanted to add more greens into my diet and this is a great way to do it. Plus, the mix is specifically called Green Beauty, so who doesn't want to be a green beauty? Alright, time for some food. Here I'm just chopping up one zucchini, some mushrooms, and red onion. I'm going to be using that to put in some eggs and have that with some smoked salmon and avocado. Usually I would have all these vegetables pre-chopped because I usually meal prep on Monday and I do this as part of my meal prep, but I ran out. So I'm just chopping up a few vegetables here so that I have uh, some to finish the week. I highly suggest doing this, chopping up a bunch of vegetables, putting it in a container so that in the morning, if you want to have a quick omelet, you're able to fill it up with a bunch of vegetables and you don't have to get the cutting board out and you know, chop up all these vegetables. Next up, I'm gonna add some coconut oil in the pan. Uh, this coconut I just got organic coconut oil from a store here in Germany. While I'm waiting for the coconut oil to melt, I'm gonna crack some eggs and then whisk them. I make sure to always get some organic and pasture raised eggs. They are so much more flavorful and nutritionally they're much better as well. Once the coconut oil has melted, I will add the vegetables in and then let that saute for a little bit. While it's sauteing, I'm going to prepare the smoked salmon. I don't know why but I like to just roll it up and it looks all fancy so that's what I'm doing here. It's about 50 grams of smoked salmon usually. Now that the vegetables have sauteed, I will just add the eggs, some salt and pepper, and that's pretty much it. Once the eggs are done, I plate them up and add my very fancy smoked salmon. I will then slice up an avocado and scoop it out. This is a fun little technique if you want your dish to look nice. Mine kind of failed today, but that's usually the technique I use for Instagram. That's it. That's my breakfast. I make sure to have a good source of protein and healthy fats to keep me full through the day. And of course, lots of vitamins and minerals from the vegetables. Next up is lunch. Okay, I seriously have a lunch template. It's always a salad, and I make sure that my salad includes the following. Some greens, a source of healthy carbohydrates, a source of healthy protein, and a source of healthy fats. Afterwards, I pick a few ingredients to add, one, more flavor to the salad, and then two, more nutritional value. Today I'm having mixed greens, roasted butternut squash, chicken, and avocado. And then I decided to go with blueberries for antioxidants. and walnuts. 
Walnuts are seriously one of my favorite nuts because they are high in omega-3s, which means they fight inflammation in the body. Anti-inflammatory foods are very important to me because they help fight any inflammation I may have due to my training. For the dressing, I just added avocado oil. I recently started using this as my dressing and oh my god, I love it. With that, I add salt and pepper and that's it. Super simple, but honestly, you don't need that much dressing because the salad itself is full of flavor. As a snack in the afternoon, I usually have my cacao almond balls. I will leave a link down below for the recipe. They are super simple to make, but taste amazing. I know myself and I usually want a little pick-me-up treat around 3 p.m. and they do just that. Moving on to dinner. For dinner today, I'm having salmon and vegetables. I will be having Oyster King mushrooms, zucchini, sweet potato, and red pepper. Snap the fingers and voila! <laughs> I wish, right? Here I have a large salmon fillet that will feed actually two people. I add mixed herbs, salt, and pepper to season it. I'm going to bake the salmon and sweet potatoes at the same time. So now I'm just adding the sweet potatoes to the tray with some olive oil, salt, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. For my olive oil, I make sure to use some extra virgin olive oil. I haven't mentioned this before, but for my salt, I don't use table salt. I use Himalayan pink sea salt, which are full of electrolytes. And I love the cayenne pepper because it gives a great kick. I bake the salmon and sweet potato fries for about 30 minutes on 180 degrees. While that is baking, I saute the remaining vegetables. Once again, I added coconut oil to the pan and once it's melted, I add the vegetables. I added some mixed herbs, some spicy salt, and that's about it. I put the lid on and let the vegetables saute from anywhere between, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. Once everything is done, I add it onto a plate. I always try to fill half my plate with vegetables. And similar to lunch, I make sure to have protein and healthy fats. And that's it guys, very simple but very nutritious dinner. Since today is Thursday, I have the night off of practice, which means after dinner I get to just relax. This evening I decided to treat myself to a peppermint tea and my go-to raw vegan chocolate. This chocolate is also on my website and I'll make sure to leave a link below. I always switch up the extras in my chocolate recipe. On my blog I made it with a fruit and nut mix but lately I've been putting goji berries, pumpkin seeds and sliced almonds in it and oh man, it is so good. You honestly have to go check this recipe out. You'll be surprised to see that there's only three ingredients necessary for this recipe. Alright guys, that pretty much ends my day when it comes to food. I'm going to snuggle up on the couch now with my tea and my chocolate and enjoy my evening. Once again, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because it really supports my channel.